All right, Legends, it's 12.30 a.m. on a Tuesday night, and I just made a giant pot of coffee, and I'm still plugging away, and you guys are too. So I commend you all for being Legends and staying with me. So in the last video, we learned how to use while loops. And in this video, I want to teach you how to use for loops. So after this video, you will understand two of the three loops that we are going to be using in PHP. And remember, certain loops are not better or worse than any other loops. There's just more appropriate times to use each one. And I use for loops all the time and probably a lot more than while loops. Just keep in mind that they do the same thing. They just have a little bit different syntax. I think I use for loops every time I want to loop something that is not an array. But never mind that because that might not even be true. But let's continue to become a legend. So, okay, the first thing that we want to do is we want to learn and remember that for loops take three expressions. And in the past, we've been creating our variable outside of our condition, we'll say like a equals one, and then we'll come down and do like a for or a if. But we're gonna put our variable in our for loop. So go ahead and type for, give it the parentheses, open braces, so we need to give it three conditions. So let's create our initial variable, and I'll just call it a, and I'll equal it to one. And then we need to create our second condition. And to do that, we need to give it a semicolon to create it. And we'll say that, I don't know, A, what did we do last time? Is less than or equal to 50. And then we'll give it another semicolon. And how are we going to increment this? We're going to increment it by 1. So I'm going to hit A, plus, plus. And keep in mind, after our third condition, we do not add a semicolon. If we add a semicolon right there, our PHP won't read us, and it's, it'll spit back to us that we have a parse error. So, okay, keep in mind. So we have we have our initial variable, a equals 1, and then we're kind of going to test it right here with this condition. And as long as this is true, our program will run. And then for our third condition, we just need to let PHP know how we're going to increment it. We're going to increment it by 1, by whole numbers. So we're going to start 1, 2, and then we're going to go all the way up to 50, just like we did in the last video when we were dealing with while loop. So if this execute properly, what do we want to do? Well, let's just go ahead and do the same thing we did last time. So I'm going to echo our variable of a, but I'm going to concatenate break tags because I don't want this to run all along the page, like left to right. I want it to run vertically like we did. So I'm going to save it. Let's go ahead and open it up in our browser, localhost forward slash PHP forward slash first dot PHP. Perfect. Okay, so we did the exact same thing we did in the last video. Just in this video, we used a different loop. That's what I'm saying. They're not better or worse. There's just more, kind of more appropriate times to use them. Maybe not. Maybe you could use, if you're building a program, it doesn't matter if you want to use a while or a for loop. But the, ver the, the variable we're going to learn in the next video is for each loop. And that you only use when you're dealing with an array. So stay with me. I hope you guys are able to distinguish between a for and a while loop. A for loop, we create three conditions and we put our variable inside this condition. We give it an initial variable. We're going to create a test and as long as it's true, it's going to run and we're going to let PHP know how we want to increment it. And again, right down here, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 50. So again, hope you guys are following along. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to my video and good luck.